Okay, and welcome to PocketGamer.biz's Monetizer. This is a uh, a uh, bit of the site where we look at the first uh, kind of couple of minutes, really the tutorial of um, of some games, and look to see uh, what the user experience is like, um, and particularly kind of focusing on the on the monetizing, or the way the way developers are looking to monetize, particularly in the early stages of, of of a game. We're not really going hours into the gameplay and stuff, but just to get an impression of kind of what what um, kind of techniques people are using. So. Um, the game we're going to look at um, today is uh, Turd Birds, a lovely sounding name from um, 2K. So let's, um, let's uh, end this run, so we've turned the, uh, turned the iPad round to uh, portrait mode. Let's start the stopwatch and see what the experience is like. Okay, first thing we see is that we'd like to send us push notifications. Um, I'm really not a big fan of the first thing I see is push notifications, although every game Pretty much every game I've played at the, um, seems to do this. I think it's as much. If I'm just if I'm just experiencing this game, I don't really know that much about it. I just downloaded it. I don't really know whether you know. I think we all get just too many push notifications. Um, I think this could be done in a in a slightly better way. So I'm going to not allow this for the time being. Okay. So the developer is Cat Daddy Games, published by Two Two K. Uh, and here we go. Yeah, not sure that bird can aerodynamically uh, fly. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is quite nice. This is a casual game, so they've not been too heavy with us. Um, exciting to Facebook to people, my friends. I mean, they don't have to do that. They don't have to log in or anything. Um, and there's a few of these things here. We can come have a look back. Come and have a look back at later, but let's just hit this button and see what goes on. Hopefully, we won't have to tilt the get to it too much. I'm just swiping on it, yeah, okay, so swiping. Time your tap to poop on the people and collect coins. Use coins to purchase items like this in the store, okay. I guess it's a bit, I guess, like, I'm not gonna end this run, obviously, you're uh. You're floating, so it's perceptions a bit off here. I'm never get used to it. Collect feathers to unlock more birds. Okay, so we get feather boxes will give me feathers. So feathers obviously seem to be a currency. Looks like I've got a shield coming up. Power ups. Egg power ups give me more life. Upgrade power ups from the store. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mystery boxes contain random loot, so poop on them. Okay. Yep, missed that. Quick challenges, complete with extra coins, splat the brat, where's the brat? Okay. Is that the brat? Oh, it the br oh there's the brat, maybe. Is he the brat? Oh, ooh, that didn't work so well. So this is a kind of typical endless runner thing. Spend a spend a gem to continue my game. Have got any gems? Presumably I have. Doesn't ask me that. Oh, you're short one gem. Would like to buy them? So, hmm. This is a coercive technique. I'm really not keen on this at all. So I'm playing this game. I haven't got any gems, and I've already been taken to the to a hard cash store. I'm potentially already being asked to pay forty five quid. Oh, on, so, so we've got two currencies, two two hard currencies, we've got gems and coins. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. So, don't care. Progress not very really good. Uh, so, Fred's my bird, I get more birds consumed. So, again, I'm being offered to buy it. <laughs> the extra life is 59 gold. Obviously, that was a terrible worm go, but um, I've only got seven. So, let's go up there, so that's the store I guess we've seen. That's, so we go to the store at the end of every end of every session. We're going to get thrown back to the store. Um, let's give it another go. Put ten times in it. Okay. So that's what I'm going to win. I'm going to go win a hundred if I 
I managed to do it, which it probably won't be because I'm playing a slightly weird position. And I'm not very good at games, obviously. So what's the UFO doing? Is it, is it gonna... Oh! Okay. So we're really showing our trouble in this game. <laughs> okay, so um, despite me being pretty bad at it, this is actually, while well, you're getting into the game quite quickly and it's quite a casual game, it's, I mean, not, I don't know, I'm quite surprised actually that um, the first time you play the game it doesn't give you a coin, that's kind of a, quite a well-known technique now that people are using to go, you're in a situation where you haven't got a coin, but it's your first time, so we'll give you a coin to get you into the habit of, um, of, of kind of using a coin or a gem or something to kind of get what you want. Um, then, and then that's you feel kind of you feel like that's the way to play the game really. Um, so uh, I'm going to do some number crunching on turbo. I'm going to I think it's going to come up with a, with a fairly high what I'm calling a monetization coefficient. Um, yeah, it's a that's an interesting one. Okay, that's turd birds from uh, 2K Games. <laughs> 